So today we're going to be making models on clocks using fractions. So in this lesson, we're going to be adding the fractions on the clock, and we're going to see if you can find a pattern with finding the fractions. So let's try one half of the clock. So what you do is, since the denominator of one half is two, you do 12. So you do 12 divided by 2, which equals 6. So you draw a line from 12 to 6. See? It's half. Now, let's try to find a 4. We start at the top, which is 12. So we draw a line from 12. 12 divided by... Since the denominator of 1 fourth is 4, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So you draw a line from 12 to 3. And see, that's 1 fourth. Now, so you see a pattern? You divide 12 by the denominator of the fraction, since 12 is at the top of the clock. So like 1 third, 12 divided by 3, the denominator, equals 4. So you draw a line from 12 to 4. So, what if we were to add these fractions? Like, let's just say, um, we were playing a game where you have to roll two dice and see where you land on the clock. Now, these dice aren't normal dice. These dice have fractions on them. So you do, you add the fractions to get somewhere on the clock. So let's just say you rolled, your, on your dice you saw, you saw two thirds and one half. So let's see. First, we can do, we can try one half. So, we know that that's one half. And we know that, actually no, I think it's, it would be better if we started with maybe, if we started with, um, if we started with two thirds. So, we know that one third is, so 12 divided by three equals four. So one third is four right there. And since there's two thirds, we want four times two equals eight. So you draw a line from the twelve to the eight. And we know that one half is well let's see. Twelve divided by two equals six. So you would put the hand at the six right there. Since there's only one half 6 times 1 equals 6, so it still is at the 6. So, we can see. So we have 2 thirds. It's right here at the 8. So let's see. So we know that it's at the 6, and a third is right there at the 8. So we can go. So we can go. Has, so we can do 8 plus 6, which is 14, but since there's only 12 different numbers on the clock, we have to do 14 minus 12 equals 2, so you put the hand, you, you put it from 12 to 2, and then you can erase this line right there. So right here in red, you can see that it's 12 and 2 because you went around, went around once and then you go one sixth more. Now let's try, let's try another fraction. So let's try another fraction. How about two six? How about two six? How about two six? How about two six and maybe two six and hmm, 
Um, let's try. Yeah. So let's take. No, actually, one six. Four six. Yes, four six. We're gonna do four six and one third. So let's try. So since we um we can figure out what one six is by doing. 12 divided by 6 <laughs> equals 2. So, since 12 divided by 6 equals 2, we know that 1 6, one six is the 2 on this clock. But since there's 4 6, we have to do 2 times 4, which is 8. So, 8 is 4 6. So... Now you can see some of the fractions around the clock. How many points does he have? So, anyways, so now we have to do four sixths plus one third, and we can see one third is the four right here, because twelve divided by three equals four. So, now let's try four plus eight. Four plus eight equals twelve. And so, since th that is actually the full amount on the clock, you have to put both hands at the 12. So now you see how to add fractions on a clock and how to make models with a clock. And that, that helps a lot of people, and it, it can definitely help you if you're trying to add fractions. Okay, bye.